the underwater alphabet. So I know when we're in class, we talk a lot about letters. And what's really cool about this story is there is actually a sea creature that begins with each letter of the alphabet. So we're going to go ahead and look at some of these. It's quite a long story, so I'm not actually going to go through all of it. But just to give you a little bit of an idea of how many creatures there are that start with each of the letters of the alphabet. So we have letter, what letter is that? I know you guys know, letter A, that's right, A for angelfish, that's an angelfish. There are lots of different angelfish in the world. And this particular angelfish is a flame angelfish, probably because it's red and orange like a fire flame. That's pretty cool. This letter B, B is for basslet. Baby eagles are called eaglets, but baby pigs are called piglets. But baby bats are not called basslets. Basslets are little fish that are different from bass. That's interesting. The letter C is for C is for cowfish. What in the world? Don't be silly. Cowfish don't moo. But some people like to think that they look like cows with horns. I could see that. This is letter D for dolphin. That is our school mascot. D for dolphin. Wow, a dolphin is a mammal that breathes air through a blowhole in the top of its head, so it doesn't actually breathe underwater, it breathes air just like we do. Dolphins are considered one of the smartest creatures in the ocean. Remember, these dolphins are not fish, they're mammals. D is also for dolphin. Hmm, is this a mistake? No, it's not. There is also a fish called a dolphin. In Spanish, it is called a dorado. D could also be for dorado. In Hawaii, it is called an mahi-mahi. Dorados have been known to smash their heads into the life rafts of people lost at sea. That's crazy. Ooh, what letter is that, guys? E. E is for eagle ray. Eagle rays swim by flapping their wings like fins. That's pretty cool. Ooh, what letter is that? That's right, F for four-eyed butterfly fish. This fish does not really have four eyes. It has two eyes like other fish, but it also has two fake eyes. Its real eye is hidden by a black line running across the side of its face. The fake eye may make enemies think it's going where it has already been. That is so crazy. G is for grunt. H is for hammerhead shark. Ooh, hammerhead sharks. Their head looks just like the shape of a hammer. So that's why they call them the hammerhead shark. I is for indigo hamlet. Indigo is like a color. A color that is similar to a blue, a shade of blue, or blue like the ocean. It's behind in the blue ocean camouflage itself. J is for jackal fish, jackknife, jackknife fish. This fish probably got shaped like an open jackknife and that's why it got its name. There's L for lionfish, M for man of war, the jellyfish are one of the few ocean creatures that floats on the surface. But stay away because these are poisonous. The top of its body is shaped like a sail on a sailboat and the wind blows it around. So you'll see it poking out on top of the ocean. Its tentacles grow as long as a telephone pole. They are super long, so you don't want to get tangled up with one of those. N is for nudie branch. There are types of sea animals. That is a silly name. O is for all life. All life live in warm waters on coral reefs. P is for a, a porcupine fish. Look at that. It does look like a porcupine with all the 
spine sticking out. R is for ribbon eel. The ribbon eel is long and very thin like a piece of ribbon. So that's where it gets its name. All these different fish have cool names tied to what they look like. S is for sweet lips. A group of school a fish, a group of fish is called a school. Sweet lips swim in large schools. T is for tomato clownfish. This makes its fish makes its home among the tentacles of an anemone and they are red like a tomato. U is for upside down jellyfish. That is crazy upside down jellyfish. This one goes down to the bottom of the ocean and flips itself over upside down. V is for a veined shrimp. It's got veins, oh, that's crazy looking. W is for Rossi, hundreds of different kinds in the ocean. X. That X is for Xanadae. Oh, it's a type of crab, coral crab. Weird. Y is for yellow seahorse. And Z is for zebra pipefish. The end. There are a lot of different types of sea creatures with all different names. We'll talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye.